Hello everyone, my name is Matt B, and welcome back to more West of Loathing. So we spent a lot of time doing puzzles yesterday. Yesterday, last video, whatever. It's not even yesterday. I'm wearing the same shirt. So we're gonna go. We're just gonna go check out new places. Gonna try and ooh, old medicine show. Gonna try and continue things. Show off the new stuff. Yucca yucca. Can of tuna. Get in there. Get in this cave. Okay, what do we got? Search him. Great. I love that stuff. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, monkey wrench, hammer, great. Grab it. I don't have a suitable vessel to grab the soup. Hmm. But what's in here? A knapsack. Ooh, a, oh, a cultist mask. But I already have a cultist mask. Arr. Number seven. Number seven. Number five. Okay, so that seems to add. 11. This adds a heck of a lot. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. The puzzles, they're everywhere. Okay. 3 is for 11. So that's. Is that 295? Let's see. So it's 1. 61, 161. Okay, so, uh, gosh, make me do complicated math now. Aha! I did it! I, <laughs> I was just guessing things. So in case, uh, you wanted to know what the correct combination was, uh, you can figure out with these numbers here. Because I don't remember what I pushed. Sorry. Y you can... Oh, wait. Uh, maybe I'll just add them to the video. Uh, let's go. what I get? Puzzles. I love puzzles. They're so fun. I like this game. But I can't grab the boiling soup. Hmm. <laughs> but it's not an interesting crack. Oh, look. A bunch of snakes. Let's grab some. Mm, a spitting soup snake. I don't like the sounds of that. Yeah. <laughs> that was a very, very magical sounding soup. All right. Ah, stewed snake. Snake spleen. Wonderful. Oh, bye guys. It's a lot of heat, but you can take it. That's great and all. I really wish I had something to hold the soup in. So there'd be a point for me coming here. Ugh. Anything else? Nope. That's just it. Anything else happen when I go up? Apparently there are cultists here. Or at least were. Oh, whatever. Okay, we checked that place out. Let's go to the old medicine show. Gotta do some exploration. Dark thing. Mm okay. Ooh, oils I have known. Teach how to make advanced boozes, oils, and po Ooh, potionology. Neat. Wonderful. Duh. Wait, I can make a spleen? Oh, that kind. Okay. A liver. Great. I don't know. Stop, stop chemistrizing. Ooh. Well, that's cool. Mm. Docile Automatics Mystery Cohort? Mm, but what if it's Docomatics Milkshake Hour? What if it's Docomatics Mouse Hotel. It's definitely Docomatics. Docile Automatics Moose School? I don't know. Let's go to the Hellstrom Ranch. Susie wanted to go there. Hmm. This place seems to be a little toasty. Oh, uh. Hey, Susie, there seems to be a portal to another dimension here. What, what do you think? What the heck is that? That's it. It's gotta be. Gotta be what? That's where the cows came home from. How do you know? I just... No. Look at this place. Look at that dang thing. It's like someone went in and tore a hole in nothing. What What could it be? Guess better check it out. Of at least one infernal cow. I will get some agave nectar. Grab that lucky horseshoe. Ooh, six pistol damage. I like that. Hmm. Let's ring a bell. And let's kill it. Hwa! It's just another, like, upgraded grindy spot. 
What? Susie didn't, uh, get a notch from that. We're fighting cows, Susie. You're not the most powerful you can be. I know you're not. I technically I don't know that, but, uh, cool. I'll remember that later. Um, oh, wait. I probably have some experience, don't I? Not very much. Let's get more safe kraken. And then I need more gumption, so I can have more spleen, so I can use the mushroom to get in the cave. Let's go to Jumble Lake Mine. What do I need to do for the railroad camp? I forget. As a horse escalator, blah, 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 attack. Whatever. It's a nasty ungolith. Now it's a dead ungolith. Hmm, yes, good. Jumble Lake Mine. Except for all the dust over everything, and the fact that the guy at the desk is a ghost looks like a regular mine foreman's office. I'm gonna... Uh, fine. I'll leave... Hello. Kid, I'm busy. I got a mine to run. Take a hike, okay? This mine is still running? I haven't seen anyone around. We're miners, kid. If you saw anyone up here, you'd have to fire them for not doing their jobs. Do you know that you're a ghost? Do you know that you're a pain in the butt? No, I'm serious. You see me laughing? Alright. Grab that helmet. Yoink. Uh, three armor. All right. Well, you're a jerk, so I'm gonna open your. I'm gonna open your safe. Why, you little? Come here. Well, what are you gonna do, Foreman Ghost? Yeah, get out of here. I'm opening your safe, jerk. <laughs> I killed a ghost. Way to go, me. Crack the safe. Ooh, a sack of meat nuggets and a weird knife. Oh, it's a silver weapon. Hmm. Are you a cultist, Mister? Wait, hold up. Ooh, Jumble Deck Mine Elevator Key. Extra gristly jerky. Mmm. The good stuff. What, just grab a handful? No. Uh, excuse me. I, ooh, Silver Two Skull. Do you know how many spittoons I have put my hand in? Uh, let's unlock it. More puzzles? Wonderful. Uh, aha, I see. That way. Alright. Puzzles away. Ooh, a paper bag. And some raisins. Whoa. <laughs> Dang. Those are some pretty good raisins. Uh, what's this for? Can I put some soup in this? Please? Uh, what's this lever do? Heavy duty. Uh, unstable stick of dynamite. Will this work? Hmm. Okay, well, I guess there's nothing I can do here. Great. Let's go to the military cemetery. Hey, you, a human. To keeping away from these lumps that are mine? Or maybe I am to cooking you instead. What? You goblins don't people to eating? Do you? Haha. <laughs> no. Gross. Did that. I did saying that to scare you away. Did you scared? Jeez, a little. Yeah. Nice. So, uh, what's cooking? Lumps. Okay, then. Wait, no, not those lumps. Oh, why not these lumps? Poison lumps these are. I am cooking them for many times, knowing very well which lumps are poison. Looking here, you received an unexpected lecture which lumps are and are not poisonous. Oh, well, all right. Guess the horn swogging technically didn't work, but... Hmm, burial plots and eternal flame. A shovel. Uh, People cry in the shed. The caretaker appears to have been shirking his duties for quite a while, judging by the dust and cobwebs. Let's check out the flyers. Ooh, Fort Memoriam. Interesting. Let's go about the desk. If it's covered with old paint splattered newspapers, splattered, and features a large collection of tiny jars of paint as well as a jar of fine tipped brushes. Uh, whatever, he's painted. Look under the chair. Wow. Look at the tools. You already have a shovel. Great. I can't just use two shovels to dig twice as fast. Okay, let's go to burial plots. Uh, beyond this gate, are countless rows and columns of tombstones. Well, they're not actually countless. I've counted them, and there are 999 of them. You can visit an individual plot by number if you'd like. Uh, 409. Wow. Dig it up. Let's get him. A skeletal army bean slinger. Oh, gosh. Ooh, look at him wave his arms. Ow, that was a hot bean. I can't handle the spiciness. All right. So I wonder if there's a specific 
one I can go to. <laughs> Hello. Is this burning an eternal flame? Yes. This goblin is roasting a weenie over the eternal flame. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to do that. No, he's good fire, not to wasting it. Why would I fight him? I can talk, oh, fine. Oh, he's got so many weenies. Oh, well, now he's dead. I'm glad I did that. Hmm, okay. Well, I can come back here when there's a specific plot I can find. Ooh, bust those sweet moves. I guess I should read this. Since your horse is smart enough, really, to automatically follow the trail without much micromanagement, you have some time on your hands. This might be an opportune chance to practice those sweet pistol-spinning moves the big-name gunfighters use. Every shootout could use a little extra razzadaddle. Bust out those sweet moves! You practice spinning your pistol around your finger for a while, and even managed to do a couple hand-to-hand -hand passes. And you accidentally fired once, and didn't hit anything important. Nice. Way to go. So cool. Oh, hi. I'm gonna take you all on. I ain't afraid of you cows. Oh, you guys are weak. Weak. So we can just go shoot in the air. Yeah. It all worked out in the end. Way to go, shoot nanny. Okay, nothing there. Some explosions. This has really been blown to pieces. The Diary of Alexandria, Alexandria. All right. Flip through the diary, most of it's uneventful, describing the life of a woman who likes books and isn't interested in much else. It ends with a passage about a soldier from the nearby fort, warning her about some kind of danger he wouldn't specify, so she moved her most valuable books to the cellar, and took the ordinary precautions, e.g. boarding up the windows and not leaving the house at night. Turns out, that isn't much good against cannonballs. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm, quite. Let's dig through it. Wrecked books. Oh yes! I am the snake oiliest. Uh, 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 big spleen. That's uh, oh, big spleen. Yes. Thank goodness, reading books can increase the size of my organs. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna wait to eat that mushroom until I finish up here. Ooh, a cannonball. This bombard was done by the army. The horror. Okay, can I get down to this bunker? I guess not. Okay. Dig through it, right? Well, sweet. Okay, now a big spleen. Wonderful. Uh, mm hmm. Gee, I wonder. I wonder who did it, huh? Okay. Well, sorry to pull a fasting on you, but I really want to check out the shroom cave. So, oh, hello, hello. What's up? I'm soldiering. Yes, I can see that. I can seeing that. I didn't think there were any goblins in the military. What's your unit? What? Where are you know? <laughs> Where are uniform getting? From dead soldier man's. So am soldier now. Not quite how that works. Hmm. I suppose you might get away with it, but you'd better not let any other soldier see with contraband. What? Giving soldier supplies to me for safety. Oh, okay. Cool. Shroom cave. Shroom cave. Shroom cave. Where to go? I would have. How is that? Aha, here we go. Whoa, your third eye is open all the way. You got any effect Baccarat Galactarius. Like, wow. Okay. So I should be able to see. Ah, hello. Yes, it's the jelly beans. Okay. Ooh, a strange lamp. Imbued with magic and lava like substance. Would I. Oh, use it. Because it's, you want to do it where you live. Okay, I guess I could. Ah, uh, yes, I love this music. But I have no time. Okay, is there any. I wonder how many places I can go to now that my third eye is open. Oh, he's fine. Okay, so let's finally give Roy Bean his last thing of jelly beans. No, leave it alone. I don't want to get angry again. I don't like being angry. Hello, I got him right here. Well, I'll be jiggered. Didn't figure and see in a many jelly beans again, and you burn up the wall through bars. Great. But I have the meat. That's it. Alright, well, whatever. Side quests. I helped him. Great. Okay, so, Fort Memoriam. Hello, you're new. Uh, no crowbars, apparently. They all died. All my crowbars went extinct. Yow. Oh. 
That's a bunch of LARPers. <laughs> this guy's eating chips like they're going out of style. Wait, he's a nerd. Nerds don't care about what's in style. Not many people walk around in a cow hat in this day and age. Not to imply they're ever in fashion or anything. Uh, let's use my binoculars. Wow, the West Pole. Okay. Help yourself if you want some candy. Oh, thanks. That's so nice. Sugar guns. <laughs> I love it. Oops. I want to talk to you. This guy doesn't seem interested in the game. He's just noodling around his guitar. Hey, what's up? Not into the game? Nah, I mean, I like games. That's why I hang out with these guys. But I've gotten bored of these strategy war games. I want something different. Like what? Well, I like playing the guitar, so let's think about some kind of guitar game where you pretend you're in a band and you have to hit the right chords. That sounds hard. We don't already know how to play the guitar. Yeah, I thought of making a real simplified version of guitar, but then it wouldn't be much fun for me. I have an idea, apparently. I have an idea. Instead of pretending to play in a band, why don't you join an actual band and play guitar for real? I know a place that's looking for talent. Huh. Put my guitar skills to actual use? That's not a bad idea. Okay, cool. So the Jewel Saloon and Dirtwater. Oh, he's gonna be playing with the hippie. Oh, but I like that music. Let's see, Mom made Rufus stop drinking that brand of soda after he didn't sleep for four days and started yammering about putting our cat in a box to see if he was alive or not. Hi, I'm Fozzie. Hi, buddy. Are you the cemetery caretaker? Nope. I'm a dedicated, unemployed layabout. Then where do you get the money to buy expensive war gaming miniatures? Grift. Ask about something else. So, how do you like this game? It's pretty good. I prefer the science fiction version, though. What's that like? It's real interesting. It has vehicles that move with, without horses and guns that fire more than once before we're loading. Whoa, that sounds really imba. How'd you get into this? I was in the actual war. Made it out with only a few scars and a limp. Fortunately, on limp, fortunately, on account of I spent the whole thing hiding in the cave. <laughs> when I heard about reenactments, I signed up to find out what I missed. This is probably not a whole lot like what you missed. Yeah, better snacks for one. Alright. How about you? This guy is excitedly and repeatedly describing his favorite kinetoscope reel. Whoa, he's crazy. Look at him go. I'm fuzzy. Howdy, I'm Ernie. Are you the cemetery caretaker? Not me. I'm an emergency telegraph operator. Doesn't mean you should be listing at your post. It's alright, I have my portable. It takes a telegraph out of his pocket to show you. Okay. What's this kinetoscope reel you're talking about? Oh man, you haven't seen the Dixon experimental sound film yet? It's amazing! What's it about? Were the two guys dancing while the third guy playing a violin to a huge cone? You can actually hear the violin! It's so great! And then the fourth guy walks in. What's he do? Nothing. That's when it ends. Sounds pretty avant-garde. Hmm. How's the game going? Pretty good. We're on a real winning streak. If we'd been in charge of the army when the real war happened, things might have gone a lot differently. Probably the real war was a lot more unbalanced in terms of unit allotments. Hmm, good point. Hi, I'm Jeff. You the cemetery caretaker? Yeah, it's me. You want those other guys tell you? I try to keep it hushed because people assume you're a weirdo if you're working at a graveyard. No, I just happened to be in the cemetery and saw your caretaker shack. At least you should probably get back there. Weird things are happening in the graveyard. It's all over and someone needs to keep an eye on the skeletons. Ah, nuts. Alright, well look, I'm on a real winning streak here. I'll go back once it's over, okay? No, 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 you got it backwards. Now's the time to leave while you're winning. How do you figure? Attitude is important. You feel like a winner. You play like a winner, right? If you wait till you lost to leave, you'll go home feeling like a loser. Go home a winner and soak in that sweet satisfaction of victory. Then you'll be ready to do it again next time. Huh, you know, that makes a lot of sense. Hey guys, I'm heading out. I'll be back to kick your butts again next week. The others jeer and make dismissive gestures as he leaves. Good. Uh, did I talk to him? Hi, hi, Melvin. What's with the hat? We're doing historical reenactments. You're playing a tabletop war game. Well, okay, sure, but a historical one. Anyway, we only switched to this after we quit doing real reenactments. Why'd you quit? It was too much exercise. Also, somebody kept refusing to lie down and he got killed. You missed. Uh, what's this game you're playing? You probably aren't familiar with the type of board games, specialized form of entertainment. What I mean, you seem to be using Flintlock 4000 rules. My brother, th brother said didn't have cows. Oh, well, uh, yeah. We had to mod them on ourselves. Cool, huh? Can I play? The rules are pretty complex. I don't think the others want to stop play to teach the teaching game. I already know it. My brother used to bug me to play him all the time so he could test his strategies. And then, great, yeah, we're short a player on the cow side. Step up to the table and grab some dice. Sweet. Hello. Hi, I'm Mike. Take this game real seriously. Well, of course, you gotta play to win. Otherwise, what's the point? Having fun? Exactly, and winning's how you do that. Line of sight issues? Yeah, they don't let me have my team measure on the board when it isn't my turn anymore, so I have to eyeball it. Looks like I can get a hit in that front guy. He'd have partial cover, though. Huh, I think you mean soft cover. 
Oh, you're playing 4th edition. Well, yeah, 3rd edition was a total kludge. Man, you and my brother would be bitter enemies. Alright, I want to play their little game. Uh, uh, early skirmish. Oh, what? Uh, er. <laughs> Wall of beef. Oh, I see. Okay. So, what do I got? This revolting human will be utterly destroyed. A demon hunter. Uh, let's utterly destroy. Okay, so I just control this guy, and then these guys do whatever they... Oh, they give me AP. That's interesting. Oh, no. Okay, so... Zap him. Then they give me some AP. I see. This is neat. Okay. So it's like, yeah, do a specific set of moves. Okay, zap him. And then they, these guys do their wiggly dance, give me AP. And he's going to shoot them, probably. Oh, no, not my cultist. Hmm. Increase the target's stats by one. Heal your target for five HP. Okay. Uh, we'll just do that. <laughs> Blah. Okay. Yeah, you'll give me one more thing. That's great. Then you'll die. Then I'll do this, and he'll be destroyed. Like that. That's how you do things. Boom! Play another one. Lobber's battle. We got the, <laughs> we got the jump on them this time. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Army Grenadier. Wow. Wow. Doing two damage to every unit on your side. Wow, that's no fun. How much health do I have? Uh, the Bovermind. I see. Ten. Ten. Attack whatever's directly in front of him. All these guys are the same. So, okay. Hmm. Strategy. Uh. So he does have one muscle. He's got five. So he'll be able to kill him in two hits. So let's just zap these dudes on the end. Oh. Okay. I should give him a stab then if he can that. Ow! Oh no! Ow! Enough with the pain! Ow! Hmm, I see. Oh, so not in my turn. Great! Let's do that to you. One to all stats. Heal tiger for HP. Me. Naturally. Ah, yes. And bleh. And then you go bleh. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. Cultist guys. I might have to do this one again. If so, that's okay. I think I know what I'm supposed to do now. Duh. Two action points. I don't think I'll be getting any more, so I'm just going to bleh. And then he'll go bleh. Then he'll go wah. And then I'll go bleh. Then he can't do anything. Oh no, not my cow. Blech. All right, bring it on, Grenadier. I took you all with strategy. Strategy. Boom. Play another one. This is fun. Battle medley. Oh, what the heck is that? Do the blackest Angus. The nearest column with any enemies in it. Okay. Yeah, he's just a wall. Attack servers directly in front of him. Okay. Five action points. So let's boost you. Army sniper. Texting with the highest HP. Medic. Kill everyone. Okay, so he should just kill him. Let's see, Mr. Cali. Five, if three. I'm going to boost his stats. Then I'm going to totally zap this dude. And you should kill that guy. Then you give me an AP, which is wonderful. Then he does that. Then he'll probably heal that guy. We've got a wounded soldier. Ooh. Um, I'll just fling crud at him. Oh, but does he die? Wow. Okay, yeah. Totally got this. Easy peasy. Still give me AP, then he'll get damaged anyway, whatever. Kill the wall, so sad, and then he'll die. Oh, oh, oh. Strategy. The Battle of Cow Ridge. This one doesn't look that bad. Oh, I don't have. Ooh, I gotta do this carefully then. 
Ooh, these guys. These guys are equally matched. Hmm. Let's kill you. So I think. So I'm gonna heal him, and then do that, the army medic. Then the cow and I can gang up on this guy, and I think it'll be all right. Heal you. Oop. Splat. Bonk. Whack. Spoom. Woo! Awesome. Wow, you're really good at this game. Getting good was the only way to keep my little brother from lording it over me all the time. I feel like we should give you some kind of prize. Um, I got some leftover guns from when I was gluing figurines together. Want them? Sure, thanks. Bunch of really small guns. <laughs> yeah. All right. What can I do with these? How for this small army of elves? I'm glad they gave me that tip. Urgh, but I need it. Quick, back to uh, uh, Fort of Darkness. I gotta do it. I can do it. Yo, bro, you should open a boot store. Huh? It's a town called Dirtwater. I've got just the thing for your little elves, man. Wow, wow, what? Look at all these tiny guns. See, with these, the elves will be able to defend themselves on the road to Dirtwater. Oh, man, that's so weird. Okay, okay, yeah, cool. He packs his boots and tools together and heads out to the tent. It'll be kind of amazing if he actually makes it to Dirtwater, but stranger things have happened. Wonderful. Hello. Nope. So what can I do with this lava lamp? Uh, hello. I've got nothing for you. Uh, nope. And, hello. Uh, nope. Okay. Uh, what's in here? Okay. Oh! Safe Kraken. Army issue sidearm. Okay. That's pretty good. Oh, wait. Hold up. Plot 420. Of course. All right, I gotta do one more, one more thing. Oh, but it's way up here. Okay. Uh, loot the bags. Whatever. Let's go. Orthopedic boots. Check them out in a moment. Ah, uh, orthopedic boots. Oh, it's a bunch of HP. Okay. Gotta go to 420, bro. It's over going to the mushrooms. You read around. Ooh, mycology or ecology. <laughs> Let's read it. Now I know. You can identify useful, dangerous mushrooms. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, so doesn't that help me with... I'm gonna go back to the shroom cave quickly. Yeah. I said quickly! Ah. Yeah, it's crazy hot here. Wow, skeletons. All right, just run across everything to the shroom cave. Here I am, wonderful. Can I pick, aha! Oh, that's that's a dirty hippica. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's great. Do you have any No, okay, whatever. Okay. Said that it said that the cultists were um gathering mushrooms, so I didn't know if there was like a special mushroom I could get here. But nope, it just seems to be the dirty kiss, uh, dirty hippocus mushrooms. Okay, well, great. We did things. We did things. Thank goodness. Uh, still have to visit Fort Treason up there. So I'll go to Breadwood for now. I forget if I. Uh, sure, whatever. Sorry, didn't want to read that. I'm pressed for time currently, but I keep trying to do other things. Hello. Missing mail. Okay. Where did the East Armory? Okay, I see. So yeah, I said it was gonna help out with the mail. My special mail never made it here. Over your book. It's a lot of things. Oh yeah. So I think I got so lost in all the side stuff. So I think I have to help these guys so they can give me like a bunch of wood to make a bridge to get to the third area. So maybe I'll try and focus more on this next episode, but I still want to visit those other places that I haven't been to yet. Uh, last time Mary gets a list over three items. We chased him down his town, the breadstick, and they held his town. Yikes. 
Not yet. Okay, the missing mail. Wait. Don't have to go... Ah, uh, whatever. I'll figure it out. No! Where are you going? What did I click on? I don't know. Distract him. Okay. Stop! Where did I go? I don't want to go to the silver plater. I want to go back to Brownwood. That's right. Alright, so I'm going to stop this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you like the videos I've been creating, then I'd greatly appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Catch you later. Hello everyone. I'm afraid to act too quiet right now. Despite the fact that there's still sunlight in my window. Just trust me. When I went, I was going through the notes that I made earlier for this game, and I noticed, so the code that I found, hopefully you can see that correctly, in Reboot Hill. It's got letters going vertically, and if I read it uh, vertically by each column, it says Boot Hill 8th Tree. I didn't catch that at first, so I'm going to go back to Reboot Hill. And, oh gosh, who the heck are you? So, it says Boot Hill 8th Tree. One, so yeah, it says Boot Hill 8th Tree. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This wild guy. I'm darn right. Oh, do I have to combine the... Oh gosh. Oh goodness gracious. Okay, assemble the key. Voila, indeed. Ooh, Tontine treasure test. Open it. Unbreakable ruby. This chest contains a lone but extremely large gemstone and a document describing a Tontine, which you apparently won despite not even signing up for it. Great. LOL. Uh, so... Wonderful. I got a ruby. And a repurposed cold dagger, which I'm probably not going to use because I've got the awesome bone sword. But anyway, that's all I wanted to show you. I figured that out and I was excited about it. So let's go on back to Brentwood. Oh gosh, get out of there. I don't care. Cool, I got an antique rangefinder. Great. Now I'm back here. Thank you guys so much for watching.